Hi everyone! In this video, we will provide you with a walkthrough of how to create a beads portrait creation using your Smart Pixelator device, the Smart Pixelator app, and app camera feature. If you have not yet used the app, you may want to stop this video and watch the app tutorial video first, and then come back to this video. Please note that anytime you use a camera to pixelate a design, you must use the Smart Pixelator app. In this bead portrait, we will connect four bead trays using seven tray links, resulting in a large artistic creation. This sort of creation takes hours to complete, which makes it an advanced project. If you have not connected bead trays before, please refer to our professional bead tutorial video first, and then come back to this video. Let's launch the Smart Pixelator app to get started. Once we have the app open, you will see a camera icon on the bottom of the home screen. This is where you go to create your own personal activities. Let's tap on the camera icon now. The first screen you see prompts you to select a layout. In other words, how would you like your activity oriented and how large? Notice how the app tells us the estimated amount of time per layout and amount of parts. Let's select extra large artwork, which is made up of four bead trays. You will need four bead trays available for this creation since we will connect all four bead trays to create the extra large artwork. Before you take your portrait photo, here are some tips. First, the room should be well lit. Secondly, the backdrop of the photo should be a solid color. Third, fill as much of the camera screen with the portrait you are taking a picture of. Keeping those tips in mind, Let's now take a portrait photograph using the phone and the app. Once you have taken your photo, you may do some manual color corrections like so. Notice that you can pinch and zoom on the image for easier adjustments. If you are not happy with the photo you took, just go ahead and take another photo until you are satisfied with the result. Once you are happy with the image, Tap on the green check mark and you will see a quarter of the image displayed on your Smart Pixelator device. This is your first tray out of four to complete. You can also see which part of your photo is being displayed on the Pixelator device by looking on the left side at the app screen. Let's go ahead and fill the first tray now. Another tip is that if your background is a solid color, you can decide not to use beads for the background and just for the portrait itself. After we complete the first tray, remove it from the device and place a clean bead tray onto the device. Now tap on the right facing arrow and you will see that the second tray of the activity is now displayed both on the device and in the app. Let's complete the second tray now. Again, after we complete the second tray, remove it from the device and place a clean bead tray onto the device. Now tap on the right facing arrow and you'll see that the third tray of the activity is now displayed both on the device and in the app. Let's complete the third tray now. After we complete the third tray, remove it from the device and place the last clean bead tray onto the device. Now tap on the right facing arrow and you will see that the fourth tray of the activity is now displayed both on the device and in the app. Let's fill out the last tray now and then remove it from the device. Once we have completed placing beads on all four trays, we are now ready to connect all four trays. We connect the trays in the same order in which we did them. Let's take the first tray and place two tray links on the right edge of the tray like this. Now, let's connect the second tray to the first tray like this. Now on the bottom of the two connected trays, let's place four tray links on the bottom edge two links on each tray like this. Now let's connect the third tray like this. After we connected the third tray, we want to add one more tray link to the bottom notch of the third tray like so. Lastly, let's connect the fourth tray to the rest of them. Now all four trays are connected. To finish this activity, we want to turn our creation into one piece. To do this, we use an iron. 
this step must be done by an adult in a safe setting. Once the iron is heated, take ironing paper and set it on top of the connected bead trays, covering the entire portrait. Gently iron the ironing paper, which will heat up the beads underneath. There is no need to apply downward pressure or force. Once you see that the beads have melted together uniformly, then you are done. Now turn off the iron and unplug it. Place it in a safe place to cool off. Let the beads cool down for one minute. Flip the trays over and let the beads cool for another minute. Now remove the beads tray and set it aside. Because this is an extra large creation, you may want to place a book or two on the creation as it cools to keep it flat. Lastly, separate the creation from the ironing paper and let it cool fully. That's it! We have completed a beads portrait creation. Happy pixelating!